Previously in the expert series, my colleagues have covered torque, preload and friction. But how do they interact all together? Let's have a deeper look in this episode. One of the main methods to preload a bolt is to apply a torque on the head or on the nut. This is a very common process in the industry. However, it is not easy to control accurately. Let's unveil the mystery behind this mechanical wonder. By turning the fastener down on the thread helix, the rotary motion transforms into linear motion. This is causing the bolt to stretch while parts are compressed. But only a fraction of the input torque serves to pretension the bolt. Most of it is unfortunately consumed to overcome the resistive effect of friction, which opposes to the rotation of the fastener. Friction originates at two contact interfaces, in the threads and between the turned part and the clamped part, usually between the nut or the bolt head and the washer. So what is the portion of torque finally transformed into preload? Very few actually. Torque tensile tests permit to characterize the coefficients of friction taking place at both contact interfaces. The breakdown of torque shows that only 10% of the input torque is useful. All the rest is dissipated by friction. For instance, underhead torques represent 50% of the input torque and thread torque 40%. Hence, torque tightening process has a very poor efficiency. The portion of effective torque can be increased by applying a low friction coating or lubricant. Then the effect of friction will be greatly reduced and the necessary torque to reach the same preload will decrease. In addition, coefficients of friction are highly variable, plus minus 20% usually. They are by introducing scatter in the process. Also, despite tightening tools can be very accurate, the deviation on applied torque varies from plus minus 10 to plus minus 50%. Many operators get confused when realizing how much influence on the applied torque are their position and how they handle the tool. It is commonly admitted that the scatter in achieved preload is not better than plus minus 30%, which means that the maximum preload can be twice as much as the minimum one. This scatter can rise up even more for rusty bolts or for stainless steel fasteners, which are prone to seizing. Luckily, scatter can be narrowed down by applying lubricant or using bolts with a specified coefficient of friction. For example, with a coating integrating a top coat or just waxed. Here at Nordic Technical Center, we have run thousands of torque tensile tests. Hence, we have an incredible database on coefficients of friction. If you don't know what friction is yours, or if you are in need to characterize your fasteners, please call us.